Good morning. Welcome to 4 by 8 Paper Stuff. This is Beth, and we are playing with our quote journal. These are the books I was talking about the other day. This one is from 1950, a flowers field guide thing, wildflowers. And I'm not a frilly flower person either, but these will work for me. I got these all from the same Etsy shop. French, English, English, French Dictionary. And this is from 1955. It's tiny, tiny print, but, ooh, charts? Oh, conjugating. Ooh, I could never do that in Spanish. Oh, I took Spanish for three years. You would never know it. Anyhow, cumpleaños, birthdays. Today's my sister's birthday. Anyhow, this, yum. And there are quite a few pages, so maybe I can, like, not have to photocopy stuff. And then this. I think this is Hammett's Art Supplies. This is about 1950-ish also because there's no date that I can find anywhere, but the phone number is the old style that they used in the 50s out of Massachusetts, 6-5230. There's no way they use anything like that anymore. But it's lovely, lovely, lovely. Look at the Crayola, how different. Prisma color, wow, that's old. Look at all the diff different erasers. Pencil holder, that's interesting. It looks like a breadboard. Charcoal stumps. Pencil pointers? Sandpaper, 12 sheets of sandpaper firmly glued to a wooden handle. I guess you would like sharpen your pencil on the sandpaper. Interesting. Drawing boards. This is more um, architect compasses and protractors and bogus paper. Heavyweight light gray paper with an extra rough surface. Crayons, charcoal, tempura. Tempera. 250 sheets called bogus paper, metric graph paper, mechanical drawing paper, watercolor papers, Strathmore, still good. Project roll dispenser. Cool. Rulers. Paper trimmers. Paste. Anyhow. This is amazing. Carter's Rubber Cement. Oh, look at the fancy paper clips. I have some of these now. Hole puncher. Labels. Still love these kind of labels. Anyhow, I thought this was cool. This I will photocopy. Anyhow, let's see if I can get it back in here without ripping it. So my next big question is, did I put in my stuff upside down? I think I put the Audrey Hepburn in one upside down. These are all up, 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 up. Oh, I did do it right. What do you know? <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm filming this Friday night. I have tomorrow off. And I think as a family, we're going to try to do something with Bella. Kent, my husband and I and Bella because that hasn't happened in a very long time and then my sis there's a chance my mom may go home on Sunday so I might the day you're seeing this she might go home and my sister's going tomorrow and I'm going to go on Sunday so um I don't know my schedule and I got some more dog food cardboard <laughs> we're getting ready to have to make his dog food um he has skin issues allergy issues mainly because his skin is very pink and it's very exposed to the sun and he's 14 years old um but he gets irritated skin very easily without being too gross and uh he has to have seafood dog food which i've been ordering it online because hard to find seafood dog food all the time and when you only have 
certain amount of hours and every other four days to find dog food, that's one of the things you're like, well, I'll just start buying it online. <laughs> and they sent me the entire wrong order the other day. So I'm getting ready to make it like with salmon, like canned salmon and rice and peas and carrots. So it's all fresh. Okay. Here's my pile that's left. I think there's still two quotes left. I'll put them in here last night. Yeah. Without friends, no one would choose to live, though he had all other goods. Aristotle. This is true. Thank you, Curti. So, good friends. My pile is dwindling for sure. Let's see how much is left in this book. All right, I got a little page here. Try to fill them all in now. And whatever is done by the end of the month is done. A little bit here. That would be kind of fun. Then I have like a little bit here working around this vertical tip in, which I really like that one. And that's that one. This one's almost full. I have this right here, but I might make like a what I did description of my project. I have a little bit of a newspaper thing going on here. And this fish still. I gotta find a fish quote so I can use that half of the page. That's the first one I did, and I've lost track of all the numbers. And I did the sorry on that page and there's a little bit here okay there's a little bit going on here maybe we'll use this page today I think this one's pretty full A little bit right there. Yeah, this one's well. I have all of this in here. Good bit and a good piece right here. Maybe we'll just do something big. To, let's just do something big and put friends on it. Put these two little ones away. Okay, enough of that chit chat and wander. We're going with something big. Somehow, some way. Maybe on this side. A centerfold. Friendship deserves a centerfold. I don't know how I'm going to do this, but here we go. Let me make sure my camera's good. I've been chopping. Put it a little, a little bit more right here. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So what am I gonna do with all this space? I am going to put every little thing on here that I can't figure out what to do with. And I'm just gonna make a huge collage of paper. And I never said I couldn't paint on the paper, right? So we're gonna paint on it, I think. First, I'm gonna write out my quote. And it says, I already read it, without friends, no one would choose to live though he had all the goods, Aristotle, all other goods, excuse me, Aristotle. So that's going to be my quote, and I'm going to make a mishmash of art. Mishmash of art. That's a very technical term. So I have a several papers that are in this kit that I made up myself, and I have to either use it or lose it, uh, that are just plain white or tan pieces of copy paper or just plain, plain, plain paper with the thought that, you know, I could paint on them or whatever. I don't draw on them. I don't know. So I'm going to put a couple of those down just to use them because I haven't used them yet. And I'm not feeling it at all. I have to admit at this point, but this kind of stuff is very freeing and I was hoping it would do what it did. I just am thinking very little about what I'm putting on here. Um, 
it is stuff that I don't know, like that wedding brochure. It's a wedding brochure, wedding advertisement on that brochure from Blowing Rock. I've used a couple pieces out of it, but I didn't know what I was going to do at the point at with the rest of it. At about this point, I start getting a groove of making sure things overlap, tearing out things and not thinking about color, tearing, which I really don't do any of that anyhow. I don't plan a whole heck of a lot. I think that's kind of obvious. And um, just making sure everything is connected, I guess is a good way to describe it, in my opinion. Um, connecting all this paper together so it can turn into one big piece of art. In doing all of this, I have cleaned up my pile considerably, found one more quote, and really, or really, or really, this, I highly recommend this. I should be doing this every single day. I wanted to do some kind of little thing called um, no clean desks allowed, because usually my desk is not clean. But there's just too much going on in my personal life with healthcare issues and uh, with parents. And I have really, this, this is freeing. This feels good. This feels like art. This is highly recommended. And so I'm going to get out my paint and now I'm going to paint on it in a random fashion and connect all the, the paper that's not connected with paint. Um, my dog is banging on his water dish. I mean, he's thirsty or it's empty or both. Anyhow, I got out the same colors I use a lot. Turquoise, yellow, pink, um, a little bit too much turquoise, but that's okay. It all works. This is just no thinking, connecting everything and going for it. And I, I highly recommend doing stuff like this. Um, I am not an artist. It's highly uh, noticeable. But I sure have fun with art supplies. And I'm just cleaning up. I have a little bit too much paint. So I'm using some of other pages that are going to go in another project one day. And try to dry up some of this stuff. And smoosh some of the thicker spots around. And thin it up. And dry it up. Enough to get my quote glued on here. And this pretty much is the gist of the page. All I did was connect with paper by connecting paper and paint. Um, for me, that's one of the best therapies there is. I even took the edges of that quote. And that's still that same brown paper bag from Bomb Kuchin. They were in the Traveler's Notebook newsletter I saw on somebody's stuff. I think I Love Mitts or My Life Mitts. Anyhow, uh, good for them. But this is it. This is my thing. And I love the color. I love using up those supplies. I love connecting. I'm cleaning up the last bit of that black paint and putting it in this slap it down book, whatever you call these things. Highly recommend connecting with your art, connecting with your paper, and connecting your papers. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye.